All right, let's dive into it. My name's Molly, and today we're gonna to be talking about blubbery benefits. So as you can see behind me here, we have African penguins. Now, when you think about penguins, what kind of habitat do you think about? I'm guessing you're imagining right now a cold desert area. And when you're picturing that, you're actually thinking more of emperor penguins like you might see in some movies. But these guys live off the coast of Africa. So down there, they experience more temperate weather and our habitat here reflects that. So uh, occasionally though, it does get cold there and they have to protect themselves. So what kind of adaptations do African penguins have to help with that weather? Well, the first one's gonna be their feathers. Their feathers are stiff and layered to be able to help protect. Now they also have air pockets under those feathers to be able to keep them warm and insulated. Now, something they also do is called preening. So they'll use their beaks to grab the oil from underneath by their tails, and they'll rub that oil throughout their feathers, and that helps waterproof the feathers, and that will help keep them insulated. Now, the second thing that they do is they have a layer of blubber. The thickness of the blubber will vary from each marine mammal, though. Some of them have two inches, some of them can have up to 12 inches, and that can make up 50% of their body mass. Now, how much they have is gonna be dependent on how deep into the ocean they go. So uh, marine mammals that dive deeper down are going to have a much higher amount of blubber. Now, some marine mammals will use a combination of blubber and fur. Um, those are gonna be like your sea lions, your seals, and then lastly, some animals rely only on fur to be able to stay warm. So one of those animals is actually sea otters sea otters have the densest fur of any marine mammal. So I want you guys all to do this with me. I want you to show me a quarter, size with your finger here, and put it on your skin. Now when you look at your hair on your skin there, how many hair do you have? I'm getting about 10 to 15 in there. Otters have 1 million in that. So the fur here, if I try to split apart it, you're not gonna be able to see the skin underneath. And part of the reason for that is that they have those 1 million hairs, but they also have three layers of fur. So what they'll do is they'll groom themselves and put air pockets, just like the penguins do, putting air pockets under their feathers. They'll put the air under the fur and use the air as an additional insulator with the fur. Now you will see otters cleaning themselves up to 30% of their day. So they spend a lot of time doing that and it's very important for them to stay warm since they don't have blubber and they do live in cold waters. All right, so most marine animals though don't use fur. Why do they choose blubber over fur instead? Well, one reason is when they do dive deep into the ocean, they don't have the fur compressing. The blubber stays very firm, very thick and very warm for them and also stores energy. It can store proteins as well as fats. So when they're diving, they don't have to find food as much. They have more time to figure it out and they can start pulling those fats and reserves from the blubber. Super cool. Now, uh, a good example is pregnant uh, mammals. They will also use that to be able to not have to hunt as much and be able to maintain their uh, children while they are pregnant. So the blubber really is a great benefit for them. So I want us all to be able to participate in activity. I want you guys to find out what it feels like to have blubber as an adaptation. So what we're gonna do is make a blubber mitt. Now, it's gonna end up looking like this. So what you're gonna need to make it is two Ziploc bags, preferably the size of your hand so you can fit it in there. Then you're gonna need some duct tape and you're also gonna need some shortening. And the last thing you're gonna need is a bowl full of ice water. Now mine isn't, but at home, you're definitely gonna want that because you wanna test how well is that blubber working. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna take one of our Ziploc bags and we're gonna turn it inside out, actually. Now, once you've got it fully inside out, we're gonna put it inside the other bag. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and zip lock together the one side, just one side of the bag. So once you've got that done, you're gonna need your duct tape now. So you're just gonna rip a layer off that's long enough to wrap around that side of the bag. So here we've got our duct tape 
and it's on the one side that we zip locked already. And it's okay if it doesn't fully cover it, we're gonna put a couple of layers of duct tape on. All right, now that we've got that layer, we're gonna fold down the inside bag here and we're gonna kind of push it, crumble it up. Now using our other hand, we're gonna hold that in place and now you can put in as much shortening as you like. And if you want, you can even make multiple bags with different amounts of shortening so you can see how the different thicknesses of blubber feel. So once you've got the amount of shortening that you want in there, you're gonna go ahead and put your hand on the inside one and zip lock these back together. And now we're gonna duct tape that side. Ooh, there we go. And you want the duct tape more on the outside because it will get covered in shortening and then get a little bit slippery and greasy to use. So you put it out here. And now we want to go ahead and put one all the way around the bag. You wanna make sure you don't have any spots left without duct tape. All right, so you guys get the idea. And our end product looks something like this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna test it. Go ahead and put your hand inside the bag and inside the ice cold bowl. And now you should be able to feel that your hand's still warm in there. And if you wanna take it a step further for your classes for education, you can use thermometers too. You can test the temperature of the water and then put the thermometer inside the bag and see what temperature you get for that. If you wanna go even further, do multiple bags and find the average in which one had the highest insulation. Which one ended up being the warmest? What was the thickness? All right guys, that's all the time we have. This concludes our blubbery benefits.